direction. It would be smarter to do this. They're going in the baby pile. <laughs> um, I'm gonna end up bringing that entire rack of clothes, I guess. Oop. Hello everyone, and finally welcome back to my YouTube. I know I've been promising videos for a few months now. However, I'm such a perfectionist that I always end up not posting them. I'll film them and then I'll start to edit and I'll think, no, this is terrible. However, I'm finally doing it and I'm so excited to take y'all along with me on my Paris trip. I wanna show you guys behind the scenes of my fashion show, which is on March 4th, as well as everything we're gonna get up to in Paris. It feels like forever since I've been there. I'm gonna have to turn back on my French mode. Oh no. <laughs> But, um, as you can see, there's a disaster behind me. That's because today we're packing. Um, I can't show you everything that I'm packing, like this little piece here, because those are a part of my collection. And for this trip, it's actually going to be a little bit unique for me to pack for, because I want the focus to be on my collection pieces, because naturally I'll be photographing those. However, I can't show those until March 4th. Plus, I don't always want to wear them out, because I don't want to hurt them, because I'm going to have to do so many photo shoots with them. So I do have to have some other outfits, and yeah, let's plan this together. <laughs> let's get into it. I think, mm, what should I start with? We'll just jump right in. First things first, we have my fabulous faux fur coat, which actually, yes, it is faux fur. I made this, and it was supposed to be for my Paris show back when it was a winter, and that's why it's actually full length long, and I just hand sewed it up so I can wear it out because I mean, I don't want it dragging all over the floor, but it's the most fabulous blanket of a coat, and I love it so much. But this is gonna be a challenge to pack. I already tested it, and it does fit in my packing cubes. So let's get that stuffed in there. <laughs> ago and I love it I probably need to tighten up the buttons actually but here is that one so I'll bring that next up I need to decide on a trench coat because I have two black ones this one is full length and I want to do a specific photo while I'm in Paris where I have a trench coat tied and sort of have my leg up and leaning on something you know this style <laughs> Um, so I think I'm going to bring this one, but I feel as though I also need the other one. I'm not doing very good at limiting things down here. I'll go grab that and try it on. Okay, here we have the short one, which is a very classic style. And I want to do it like in the look, um, Belle de Jour, where she has it all the way up to the top. Buttoned. I think that's such a pretty look, although it's a little bit more conservative than I'm used to. Let's try it. This one is wrapped around the other one I got from a thrift store, and I don't think that the brand exists anymore. But <gasps> let's look at the undone too. Oh, yeah, I think I need to bring it. It's so petty. Sorry, so Paris. I get in trouble when I call for it. Yep, we're bringing this one too. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna end up bringing that entire rack of clothes, I guess. Oops. Oh no, okay. Oh no, this section will be even harder. We're on to jackets. Um, which I should probably only bring a couple of since I actually have a wonderful jacket in my collection. However, if you know me, you would know how much I love my jacket since I was little. And I've actually had these forever. This one I might bring because it was the first jacket I ever wore to Place Vendôme. And I actually have a picture of me there in it and it still fits. This has always been one of my favorites, even though I don't wear it that much anymore. I probably should. I've had this since I was 12 or something. Um, and then I also have this, which is very European, although I feel as though leather jackets is more of Italian. Although, honestly, I don't even know anymore. Let's try it on. I probably won't bring this one just because it's hard to pack, but I love the fact that European ladies are always wearing all the leather jackets, and this would probably look cute with some of the looks of my 
you know what? It doesn't really go with the collection vibe. Okay. We're not doing the leather. I have to say no to some. <laughs> I have my face in this. I'm just not used to having my face to the camera. And that makes me so much more picky for the main videos. <laughs> okay. Here is my trusty one, which I know the wrists are a little bit off by now. But it sort of looks like a cropped sort of Burberry style jacket. Which I love. This one is from Ann Taylor, but forever ago. So I doubt they sell it. But maybe I should make one eventually that sort of comes into the waist more. Okay, turn off the design side. But yeah, this is a nice jacket. It would go with a lot. Be good for the weather because it's going to be sort of in the high 50s. Hmm. I'll add this to the maybes. Because it's not one of my go-tos anymore. But I do adore it. This jacket, which is a sort of Chanel style. However, if I remember... <laughs> oops. However, if I remember right, this is not the most comfortable. Yeah, this is sweaty. Oh, but that fits so nice. Ah! Oh, I had an earpod in my ear. Oh, but that fits so nice. Mm, although silver. Silver is not really my metal color. I always wear gold. So maybe not. Let's see. Does it go with the collection looks? I wish I could show you guys to ask. Um, let me check real quick. So I just tried on the tops underneath and it does go with some. It's not the best look in my opinion, but those tops go with pretty much everything that I'm releasing as well as this jacket. So I'll have the same baby pal, especially because it feels very Parisian, but classic Parisian sort of style, this Chanel cut to it. We're on to the hard part, my blazers. Actually, this is all the hard part. I just want to bring everything. So this is one of my favorite blazers. It's Ralph Lauren. It's very prep school vibes. I often wear this with a belt around the waist just to sort of cinch it in a little bit. But I do have two navy Ralph Lauren. So I have to decide, do I want to bring this one or this one? Ooh, this is such a hard choice. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Also, if anybody's wondering underneath, this is from Victoria's Secret, but a while ago, so I don't think they sell it anymore. It's what I used to wear to work when I worked there. But, this one feels slightly more classy, I think. It's also very comfortable because it's made out of a knit material. So you can throw it on whatever. I think I'll bring this one. I'll try it on with the collection looks. <laughs> this is so hard to decide, but I think I'm gonna bring this one because it's longer so it will go with pictures of my skirts better because it leaves just a tiny bit of skirt at the bottom. And leave this one at home or Maybe I'll bring this one because you can't buy this one anymore, but you can buy this one. They're both Ralph Lauren. And since I'm trying to sell my collection, it would be smarter to do this. They're going in the maybe pile. <laughs> Finally, we're on to my last blazer that I might bring. This one, which I adore. This is Classique Setier, and I actually got this on ThreadUp because they no longer are around, I'm pretty sure. <gasps> Oh, this is so perfect for Paris. Maybe I need to bring it. <laughs> but with like a belt and just over top. I don't know. It goes with everything. That's my issue. We'll see how much space I have. <gasps> Maybe pile. <laughs> okay, next up we have my cardigans and one more jacket, which is a jacket that I made. So first of all, I think I'm for sure bringing this. I have always thought of this as a sort of cute Parisian style cardigan. So I think I'll bring it. This is for Love and Lemons with Victoria's Secret. I'm not sure if they sell it anymore. I think they might have it in orange now, which I don't love. But I love this white one. And yeah, that's so cute. I'll bring this just for a casual look if I'm going to a cafe or something. Okay, let's start with the jacket since I'm pretty much for sure bringing this. I made it and my mom has been telling me to sell it forever, so maybe I should. But here is it on. Yeah, that's so cute and it makes for a really adorable look with one of my collection pieces. So I'm going to add this to the packing even though it's going to be a little bit rough to pack because it is a bit big and puffy. But yeah, it's another faux fur shielding. A pile of hangers on my floor. This one, it's just a classical white cable neck cardigan. I don't think I need to bring it because I'm bringing the other one. Yes, another item that I'm not bringing. Um, if anybody's wondering, 
cotton candy LA, which I actually can't find online, I think. Cardigan, I love this one. It's from And Other Stories. I wore this to death during COVID. As you can see, it's a little bit bally, a little bit tatty, but not quite to the point where I need to fix it. I could probably shave these off, actually, which I might do before I go. But I think I'm going to, well, I wasn't going to bring this, but then I just thought that it'll go gorgeous with some of the white collection tops. Oh, I think I need to bring it. <laughs> Especially also for cold mornings. Let me try. Okay, it was way too pretty with the tops. I have to bring it because to photograph that will be adorable. I mean, I suppose I could photograph it when I get home. Make a pile. I am pretty sure I'm going to bring this one too. <laughs> it's another outfit. I got stuck in my lipstick. <laughs> yeah, this one just says on. Um, and I really like it. I got this one at the same time as Kelsey, so it's really cute. We have matching cardigans. But this will work lovely with the collection looks, as well as if I just want to go out and get a cafe. Hopefully it's not too cold though, because that is a little bit short sleeve. But I could at least go out on my balcony, maybe. We're bringing it. You all already know I'm bringing it. <laughs> okay, next up, ooh. What's next up, pants? Okay, I'm not going to try these on for you because otherwise this would be a crazy long video. But we're starting out with my Lululemon pants, which I am for sure bringing just because working out and such. I think I'm going to try these on actually. These white pants are adorable and they're actually not see-through. That is so hard to find in white pants. But I think I'm going to, um, these are old from Ann Taylor, so I'm pretty sure they don't sell anymore. But I'm not sure if I need to bring them. Hmm. They go for a cute riding look for that. Maybe I'll try that one. Then we have, we have these jeans, which are falling apart, but these are my favorite ever and they don't sell them anymore. So I've tried to replace them, but I have not yet. They are very much a 90s style, old vintage denim look, even though I bought them at Urban Outfitters and they make my butt look amazing. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna bring these just for photos because they are falling apart, but they still look good in photos. We have my go-to skinny jeans, which is the same ones I'm wearing right now, but this is a newer pair. They're the guest ones, and I love these. As well as my Abercrombie 90s fit, which you guys have seen on my Instagram before a million times. I love them. They actually come into my waist really nice. And then we have these pants, which I actually got on a super sale from Zara, but they're basically like leggings, but a little bit nicer. And I'm going to wear these on the plane. I'll show you guys my plain outfit in a few because I think I've settled on it fine. I brought the camera down so you guys can see a little bit better, but these are my favorite white pants. Ooh, okay, I just love how they remind me of riding pants because the equestrian style has always been what I've striven for. That did not come out right. Okay, the equestrian style has always been sort of my goal style, my ideal. Um, but the only thing is about these, they have a little tiny hole that probably no one else will notice except for me. However, I've been unable to fix it. I think I have to hand sew it. But with the stretchy fabric, I'm really afraid that the hand sewing will not hold well. But look, they go around the bum nice. They're completely see-through. Like, you cannot see my underwear and I'm wearing colored underwear. <laughs> but, oh, do I need to bring them? Maybe. I'll see if they match the collection looks. Well, I'm camera down on continue with skirts and shorts. So I do have this skirt, which is adorable. However, since I have so many skirts in my collection, I probably shouldn't bring too many just to wear around. Especially, it'll also be cold, so I don't think I'll wear it. So this one is a pass. I tried this on as a whole look since I saw something recently on Instagram. It reminded me that I used to love to wear this to work when I was at Victoria's Secret, as well as just to various business things. Uh, naturally with my top buttoned up for those and oh do i bring it to paris maybe for those days when i don't want to risk my collection pieces getting hurt or anything but then would i risk this getting hurt probably not the blouse is from my mom it was her work blouse in the 90s and the skirt is ann taylor but from forever ago oh that's hard to say um i'll try it on with a sweater too to see if the skirt works with that one of my favorite just white sweaters Tuck it in and see if this look works too. Mm. Um, yeah, that is pretty cute. I'll probably tuck it in all the way around if possible. I'm not sure if I should bring it on this trip just because, yeah, it'll be too cool to wear it on this trip and I don't want to wear it for casual wear versus foot. 
Okay, second to last skirt. This is one that I made and I do really like it. However, I'm not sure. Mm, I would love to photograph this one for us because look, it's so cute. Usually I wear a bow belt around it with a ribbon. Um, yeah, I would love to photograph this in Paris because it's got such a cute style to it. However, I don't know if I should confuse people because I'm not selling this one right now. I don't know if I'd be able to find the exact fabric for this one because I got it um, sort of mill-end, which means it's leftover fabric. So that would take a while to source. Mm, but it's so cute for Paris. Finally, we have this skirt, which y'all have seen me post it before. It's just one of my circle skirts, but in velvet, and it's got an adorable little pink lining. I think I will bring this one because it matches one of the tops from my collection perfectly. Yeah, and as well as I can use it as a buck back up in the runway. I won't be able to release this one at the beginning of March like the rest of the skirts, but I will be able to release it soon since we are sourcing this velvet for one of the tops in the collection. So yeah, that would make sense because then I will be selling this this spring. Just probably not the beginning of March like everything else because we have not been able to find this fabric yet um, wholesale. Yeah, I'll bring Okay, I am going to bring one going out dress. I do have a dress in my collection that's a bit of a going out dress, but I would not risk going out in that. However, it's me and I don't go out, so I'm only bringing one. This has been my sister and I's go-to dress forever, so she might actually wear it there too. But I love it. It was from Nordstrom forever ago. I mean, it was back when my sister was in high school. But I love it, and even though I probably won't go out because I'm me, it is legal there for me to go out, so I guess I'll bring it. It's also so easy to pack because it's this just stretchy knit material. But that's the only dress I'm bringing because otherwise I'll be wearing my collection items. I think I'll bring this one because it's warm and I can wear it under jackets easily, but let's... Yeah, this one is nice, especially for if I'm not feeling alone. It sort of covers up my body to keep away any creepers. It doesn't have the sort of cable knit pattern in the back, which bothers me when companies do that. But yeah, this looks lovely um, underneath the jacket. So yes, I will bring this one. Okay, I love the sort of just cropped look of this sweater. However, I don't think I'm gonna wear it. I'm, I haven't been feeling it as much lately. I have this very classic Frau Florin cardigan, which I don't think I need to bring. No, I definitely don't need to bring this one. Okay, here are the other tops I have. This one, I think I'm going to wear on the plane. It's got that cute little Ralph Lauren logo on it, and I'm going to wear this underneath my Kensington Atelier sweater with the collar sort of popped. I can also take that off when I want to sleep on the plane and just wear my sweater. Um, I have this, which I love. This was also my mom's in the 90s. However, I don't think it goes with much of what I'm packing already, so sadly I'm not bringing that. Um, this is just one of my favorite little casual tops I like to wear, so I am going to bring this just for around when I need to throw something on. And <laughs> oops! This is a terribly wrinkled, but I see no point in ironing it before I leave. A little silk camisole. Ooh, I love this. It feels very Parisian, but I'm not going to bring it because it does get wrinkled like this and I don't want to have to deal with that in Paris, even though I will have an iron and a steamer. It's just a pain. It's a man's tuxedo shirt. However, I think this would be so cute for photos with that sort of artsy vibe to it. Oh, like just wearing the man's tuxedo shirt. It's sort of that walk of shame, but make it artsy vibe. <laughs> but do I want to do that on this trip or just around my park here? No, I don't think I'm really feeling it for this. Hmm. Yeah, now we're not going to do it for this trip. We are so close to done being done with clothes and onto other stuff. So this is one of my favorite camisoles. It's just got that white lacy, so I think I will bring this just to wear underneath the jackets. Um, I don't think I need this one. Also, we don't really wear Brandy Mayville anymore, so I'm not going to bring that. Then I do have this little lace trimmed black number, which I think I'll bring. I mean, it takes up no space and it goes with everything. Wonderful underneath the jacket. Ooh. I don't need this top. This top is too gingy. It's not nice enough for Paris. I think the same thing for this one. Although this is one of my favorites, it is starting to get those little tiny white balls. Again, Aritzia, Aritzia. I used to love these tops and live in them, but I really haven't been grabbing for them recently. I'm not sure what put me off of them, but I don't think I need them on this trip. <gasps> That's crazy, I wouldn't have said that a year ago. <laughs> 
You guys, we finally made it to lingerie. So I'm bringing one of my favorite lingerie sets because I don't think I'll really need it, but I really want to wear this in the cute apartment just for my own fun. And then here are all my bras. I really don't need this many because I rarely wear a bra actually. So I think I won't bring all of these, but they're all so cute. I love them. I don't know which of my babies to leave at home. Um, we have some socks in here. We have my underwear, which I of course folded in the old Victoria's Secret way because I used to live there. Um, I love these packing cubes. It's so nice to compress everything. Two sports bras. We also have my sleepwear, which I have three little cami sets. My favorite blue ones you guys have seen, all of those. This one's Ralph Lauren Intimacy Me, Victoria's Secret. Then we have my vintage Oscar de la Renta slip, which I'm going to do an adorable video or photo with. Plus just a pile of thermal stockings. And then um, we also have my other stockings. These ones are so cute. They're polka dot with a little bow. And I'm going to also bring a long pair of stockings that are more casual. <laughs> sneak peek at my collection those are pretty much all the tops rolled up there and my new silk skirts which are so stunning okay it's actually the next day because it got dark out and i couldn't finish filming so last night i got nervous that nothing would fit and so i tried to put it in and i decided i'm actually going to use both my bags but as you can see it is still spilling out so i'm gonna have to figure this out i also still have all of this stuff to pack most of this is just for my carry-on down there but I have those jackets that I really want to bring. So we'll see what I can do to shove them all in there. Also, I need to um, pack my cosmetic bag. Okay, I decided to pack my cosmetic bag. And here is all the makeup that I'm bringing. Just over here, we have some eyeliners, eyebrow pencils. I love this Gucci one, so I'm also bringing the sharpener for that. I have my Dior Dream Stin, which I love. This is the only thing I can use on my skin because it's so dry. But I really love the natural finish. I also have a refill for that because this is almost out. My little beauty blender, of course. Some mascaras. I love this one. However, I have noticed differences in my eyelashes if I'm getting longer but it does not stay on very well. However, I'm gonna try and wear it and just try and rub underneath my eyes whenever it comes off. Here, I love this new Merit Beauty. It's sort of in between a concealer and a foundation stick, but I use that whenever I have a pimple or something that's harder to cover up. Of course, my two different Touche Clots. These are my go-tos for my super dry skin and a little tiny mini mascara just for my purse. All of my different lips. Um, we got a little eyebrow gel, my blush, which they don't sell anymore, and um, just, I think this is a contour, and this is an eyebrow, the classic powder, this is the Bobbi Brown um, primer, and I brought some eyeshadows, even though I don't really wear eyeshadows, oh my gosh, I'm cut on my finger, ignore that, um, but I thought I should bring them just in case, because I am going for a fashion show. I also already have all my brushes packed in this nice little kit, which goes inside my cosmetic bag, so that's really handy. By the way, my cos cosmetic brand is by the brand Beas. It says it like right there. And I really love this. It fits so much stuff in it, as well as it has the nice little organizer. It did have a mirror, but the mirror broke, which was really sad. Um, but it works out great. Also, I'm going to throw in my new crystal nail follow, which works so lovely, especially if you hate the gritty. I am going to put my nail trimmers inside my carry-on bag, just because I always trip a nail when I travel. I'm um, going to throw in some little samples in there because I love to use those when I travel. Here are all the products I'm going to throw into my liquid bag or just my sort of onboard cosmetics bag. This is actually TSA approved and it's my first time using it, but it fits so much more stuff. I already threw some concealer mascara in there in case I want to get a little bit done up when I leave the plane. I have so many different types of moisturizer here, but you know, it's a flight. You dry out. I also have these little tiny perfume samples which I think will actually last me the entire trip, but just in case I am bringing another one. So this is my sort of liquids bag for inside of my checked bag, just to make sure if anything spills, it stays in here. I'm bringing some shampoos and such in case I don't like the ones that they have where I'm staying when I get there. Plus this body blur for the show makes anybody's legs just look flawless and glowy like a swimsuit campaign. And this perfume my friend Kelsey gave me, and I love it. It smells like a garden. Plus just my little cleanser. I didn't bring much skincare because I'm going to buy most of my skincare there at the the wonderful Parisian pharmacies that have the French skincare. I love it. I think I'm also going to probably throw in these face masks from Telegood that they sent me. I'm not much of a detox person because I don't believe in skincare detox. However, they can just be really relaxing. And I do love their other products. 
Oh yeah, I cannot talk about my skincare without mentioning this product. This literally saved my skin. I had really bad acne at the beginning of college and I tried everything. I fell for those like campaigns. I can't remember what it was called, but the custom skincare wrecked my skin for months. But then I tried this. You just use a little bit at night all over the infected areas of acne. So like your entire cheek, if you have a little bit on your cheek and it clears it up. So amazing. It will take a couple weeks. Everything takes a couple weeks if it's good. But I pretty much never have to use this anymore. However, um, it was hormonal last week, so I still have a little bit of breakouts that I want to make sure to have that just in case because I also break out when I travel. And one last skincare product to mention is this, which Kelsey also recommended to me. If you have dry skin and your makeup tends to flake off, use this first. Um, don't use any ex other exfoliators. So this is an exfoliator, so if you use this the night before, don't use this preferably because that's double exfoliation and it's bad for your skin. But this works amazing to just make your makeup go on smoother. Yay, we're on to my carry-on now, which I love. I just got this vintage Cartier Boston bag for this trip, and I am so in love with it. It's beautiful. Um, okay, first tip. Okay, time for my go bag slash migraine kit. This is anything that I might need to easily access during my flight. So I have my migraine medicine, as well as these just other in case my stomach gets upset, a snack bar because I need to take my medicine or with a snack, plus I just get hungry and then I get a migraine. I have some teas. It's a nighttime flight, so I have these sort of more comforting teas to fall asleep and then one to wake up at the end. I don't really like playing teas, so I bring these along. Little charger, charging cords, of course a battery pack because I always run out of battery. Um, a little comb and a toothbrush because again, international flight, you want to brush your teeth after dinner. And nail trimmers because I literally always break a nail. I also have my new Cartier wallet, which has all of my cards in it and such, and my passport. Don't forget that. I'm wrapping it all up in this just because, you know, I'm crazy and I don't want it to get damaged in my bag. But I'll just slip that into an interior pocket anyway. I'm also going to throw this adorable lipstick in there so that in case I want to take an aesthetic post, I have that easy. Next thing to go in, I have some journals just because I like to write or sketch on the plane, as well as I have this, which is full of pens, pencils, and such. Shove that in there. And then, of course, we have my blue light blocking glasses because I'll probably be on my computer, but I still want to be able to sleep afterwards. I saw that on my flight that they were only going to be serving dinner, so since I'll be waking up there, I want a breakfast. And one that's maybe a little bit healthier or slightly less terrible than what they have. Um, let's see, we're also going to, of course, include my liquids bag and my bullet journal. So in it last night, I put all my packing cubes of clothes underneath there. I also have a packing cube of shoes and then my jeans are sort of padded around. Those aren't great for packing cubes. I have these boxes to use for photos. And over in these boxes, I have miscellaneous stuff for sewing. I have these little things we call chicken cutlets that you add into bras and such. Um, so that, cause some of the models have smaller boobs and we made the samples for, so we got to pat them out a little bit so that they fit. We have my COVID tests to take before I get home, hair styling, lots of masks, jewelry, hairbrushes, all of that fun stuff. A ton of hangers, <laughs> of course, and they all match. So I'm going to add in my shoes, I think. Success! 